So the final award for the evening is the Preservation of Heritage Award. This is an award that is presented to an individual organization or public agency whose contributions demonstrate extraordinary achievements in preserving the heritage and enhancing the vitality of the Old Town Cape community. This is not an annual award. This is a award that comes up um, occasionally um, because sometimes there are projects that um, are of such magnitude that um, they really deserve recognition of the this. Um, and this year's award is presented to the City of Cape Girardeau, Pencil Construction and Trainer HL for the rehabilitation of the Common Police Courthouse that now serves as the City Hall. that was long in coming and extraordinarily well done. The Common Pleas Courthouse is the cornerstone of downtown Cape Girardeau and its past is vital to the history and heritage of the community. It was imperative to the city that they preserve and respect that history while also looking forward to City Hall's continued future as the hub of city services and public policy making. The decision to marry two historic landmark buildings with a more modern structure to create the new City Hall was a deliberate expression of the city's commitment to the continued revitalization of downtown Cape, their support for the preservation of Cape's historic buildings, coupled with a creative approach to address the modern needs of local government now and into the future. And so I would like to invite the following individuals to the stage to accept the 2021 Preservation of Heritage Award, representing the City of Cape Girardeau, Mayor Bob Fox, representing Pencil Construction, Chief Executive Officer of Phil Pencil, President Clay Randall, Project Manager Travis Roth, and Project Superintendents John Felter and David Murgo, representing Trainer HL, uh, principal and architect of record for the project, uh, Joy Coleman. So um, it was a big project and we've got a big group, but come on up. Because this is great. sense to to use that iconic building as our city hall that's where it's where all began that's where our first city hall was it was just a matter of, of coming together with the idea of using both buildings and, and having enough space and uh, the idea they came up with to build a new structure in between uh, was just perfect uh, today it's a symbol of our city it's a symbol of our community and it's a symbol of governance, and uh, it's going to be here for generations to come. It was made possible by the people of the city who passed uh, capital improvement renewal, tax renewal in 2019. Uh, we pledged we'd spend six million dollars of that of that uh, tax money uh, toward that building. We used a little over six million of uh, casino revenue, and uh, it, it gosh, it worked out perfect. Uh, we kind of believe in and we understand the importance of historical significance and what it means to maintain a building. And, uh, you know, we did that with Lorimer School. We want to continue that with Lorimer School. 
and find a use for it in the future. And uh, we have people interested in it, so that's a good thing. I, uh, we couldn't have done this without, without Trainer HL. Uh, they made our vision a reality. And we couldn't have done it without the pencil and construction because they work tirelessly. And, and everything is so, the quality is, is beyond, you just can't believe it. Uh, everything's just perfect. If you've not been in our new building, uh, please come by and visit. Uh, I know a lot of you were in the old library before, or maybe you've been in the courthouse for one reason or another. You don't have to tell why you were there. But, uh, it's, you will be amazed at the way this building looks, how it looks so modern and fresh. And uh, we don't have hot spots and cold spots so much anymore. Uh, it's just perfect. So I thank Old Town Cape for this award, and I thank Trainer, and I thank Phil for making it a reality. Thank you all very much. I should have gone first because he had a lot of my comments. But, you know, I think they're worth repeating anyway. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Huffman, Liz, and uh, Old Town Kate. Uh, it is a great honor to receive this award. For those of you that uh, know me, you probably heard me say many times that this is this project was a highlight of my career. Well, I've been at it 44 years, and I want to add on to that just a little bit. I, not only is it the highlight of my career, I believe that it is the best and most exciting project Pencil Construction has ever done in the history of the company, and we turned 112 this year. So, um, this, this project has special meaning to me, and I know I'm going to tell this story, Molly, because you always want me to. This is probably my last time. But, uh, the Common Police Courthouse was built in 1854, and that is the exact year my ancestors migrated from Germany to Cape Girardeau about 168 years ago. So for us to be able to touch a building that they saw being built when they arrived to America is just, I, 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 it, I can't describe it. A lot of this uh, uh, work that uh, went into this project would not be successful without this outstanding crew this team that we have, Clay Randall, uh, Travis Rod, and, and David Marigo, and behind me is uh, John Felter. He, he, John did a lot of the work on the Common Police Courthouse, and they pretty much was in charge of everything uh, throughout that whole project. And then, um, Trainer HL, I mean, they were amazing. They, uh, uh, Joy Coleman, and we, we've got uh, Chris Burkham Meyer here tonight. He, he played a heavy hand in it, and unfortunately, Andy Pitts could not come tonight, but I can't leave him out. He, he was very instrumental in the success of this. Uh, well, I can go on and on. Uh, the, uh, I cannot use the word partnership without including the city of Cape Girardeau. I mean, their, uh, their vision, their leadership, and to, to come up with this project uh, is, and, and partner with us on this has just been amazing. Uh, Molly and everybody else. I, I don't want to miss a bunch of names, but uh, it was just an, an exciting, wonderful project to work on. Uh, and we can't leave the taxpayers out of this because uh, they, they saw the vision to pass that uh, capital improvement tax. And if they hadn't done that and cared about the preservation of the history around here, this could never have happened. That was the starting point for this. Uh, I want to conclude my comments 
by reading an email that Stephen Rudolph Sr. sent me three years ago, uh, the same day the Missourian reported that the city was going to partner with our team. And as I read this, uh, think about the message and think about um, the theme, the reason why we are here tonight. And this was three years ago. Congratulations, Phil. I am happy for you landing the business, but I am also pleased that a company of your stature and experience is doing the work. The preservation of the Common Police Courthouse is vital to the history of the community. It is rich in heritage and has a background so important to the preservation of our local judicial system. This is one of the most important jobs you and your company will ever have. I believe it. <laughs> anyway, thanks again uh, for this wonderful award and thanks to everybody that uh, I'm Joy Coleman with Trainer HL. I'm one of our principals. Um, we have a, a larger company, Andy Fitz, uh, as Phil mentioned, is one of our principals as well. And uh, we have different focuses in our company, and my focus is historic preservation. I've been practicing architecture for over 25 years, and I've been working on historic buildings all of those years. I've done a couple new buildings, uh, didn't like it, they were too quick, they went too quick, nobody called me, sure, nobody called us, but um, this, this city is really cool. Uh, we drove in tonight at twilight, and we drove down Main Street, which I love to do, from you know one end to the other to get here to this building, and it was packed. Every single space was full. Um, there were cars everywhere, people walking around. It's just wonderful to see. When Phil called two and a half years ago about this project, and uh, I think it was two and a half years ago, and we came up to visit, I was just ecstatic because not only is the Court of the Common Pleas, um, you know, an 1850s historic building, but also you have a 1920s Carnegie Library, and I think one of uh, the newest Carnegie Libraries. And it, you know, it, you want to preserve both of them and then build something new in between. Which as a historic preservation architect, I don't get to do very often, so I was very, very excited to do that. Um, and then uh, Dr. Hoffman I've met uh, over the years at, at Missouri Preservation Conferences, and he was excited about it. We talked a little bit. And uh, Molly, on the, the interview committee, you know, just the vision that they had and what they were asking for was not, it's not typical, and it takes a, a little bit of, of uh, bravery to do what you've done, and I was just so excited to be part of it. Uh, from the first time we met and in that interview when we talked about an award-winning project and how to create that between two historic buildings, I think we've done it, and I'm so excited that I got to work with you, and I got to work with you. Thank you.